In this video, we will show how to solve these three types of question. First, vertical force applied on the column. Next, force applied on the beam. And the last one is loads along the road. Question 8.27 The column is built up by gluing the two identical boards together. If the wood has an allowable normal stress, of 6 MPa, determine the maximum allowable eccentric force P that can be applied to the column. In this question, we need to find the value of P, which is the force on the surface. Convert units millimeter to meter. First, we need to find the location of the centroid C of the cross section. DZ exists 10 for centroid of the cross section. We got 0 0.1875 meter for the centroid of the cross section from the datum line. Then find the area of the surface. Next, find the total of second moment of area, which is I, by using parallel axis theorem. I equals to I bar plus A D square. Equivalent force system. The force P is parallel to X axis. Total force at X axis is negative P as the force P is opposite direction to the X axis. Using the right hand rule, moment of P is pointed inwards to the Z axis. Thus, it makes total moment at Z axis become negative. The total moment at Z axis is negative P times distance between the force P to the Z axis. Since the equation have stated that normal stress is 6 MPa, so we use normal stress formula. Normal stress is a combination of axial and bending stress. Thus, F equals to N over A plus MY over I. By inspection, the maximum normal stress, which is compression, occurs at points along the edge where Y equals to 0 0.45 minus 0 0.1875, which is equals to 0 0.2625 meter. 0 0.45 is the total distance of the height, while 0 0.1875 is distance from datum line to Z axis. Since the force is opposite direction to the X axis, thus normal force become negative and N is equal to negative P. Substitute all the values in the normal stress formula and P can be solved. Question 8.41 the 500 kg engine is suspended from the jeep crane at the position shown. Determine the state of stress at point B on the cross section of the boom at section AA. Point B is just above the bottom flange. From the free body diagram, we can determine the suffered reactions of the entire boom. Summation of MC equals to 0 and we assume that counterclockwise is positive. So we have FDE sin 30 times 6 plus FDE cos 30 times 0 0.4 minus 500 times 9.81 times 2 is equal to 0. And the FDE value is 2931.50 Newton. Next, we find the internal loadings for the segment AA. Thus, we cut the segment AA and we choose the right cut segment. From the free body diagram of the boom's right cut segment, we can find the normal force, shear force, and the moment. For the normal force, we assume that submission of Fx equals to 0, and we assume that the right direction is positive. Thus, N minus 2931.5 
cos 30 is equal to 0 and we get the value of n is 2538.75 newton for shear force we assume submission of fy is equal to 0 and the upward direction is positive thus 2931.5 sin 30 minus v is equal to 0 and the value of v is 1465.75 newton for the moment, we assume that summation of moment at origin is equal to zero, and we assume that counterclockwise is positive. Thus, 2931.5 sin 30 times 2 plus 2931.5 cos 30 times 0 0.4 minus m is equal to zero. And the moment value we get is 3,947 Nm. After that, we calculate the cross-sectional area and the moment of inertia about the centroidal axis of the boom's cross-section. For area, we have two beam and one column. And to find the area, we must find the two beam area and the column one. First, the beam, we have 0 0.15 times 0 0.02 meter and we times 2 because we have 2 beam and then for column we have 0 0.02 times 0 0.26 meter we add up all the area and the total area we get is 0 0.0112 meter square for moment of inertia we have three rectangles which mean we can use the moment of inertia of rectangle formula which denoted by 1 over 12 b h cube. Firstly, we take the largest area 1 which is 1 over 12 times 0 0.15 times 0 0.3 cube. We minus it with the smaller part 1 which is 1 over 12 times 0 0.13 times 0 0.26 cube. And the answer we get is 0 0.14709 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Now, we have the cross-sectional area and the moment of inertia of the section properties. Next, we find Q at point B. The formula of Q is Y prime bar times A prime. The value of Y prime bar is the distance from the neutral axis to the centroid of point B and the A prime is the area below the point B which is 0 0.15 times 0 0.02 and then we can substitute all the value into the formula of Q at point B and the QB is 0 0.42 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meter cube after we get all the value then we can find the normal stress. For this problem, the normal stress is the combination of axial and bending stress. Then, the normal stress is given by formula N over A plus MY over I. At point B, Y is equal to 0 0.13 meter. Then, the normal stress at point B is negative 2538.75 because it is in compression, divide by 0 0.0112 plus 3947 times 0 0.13 divided by 0 0.14709 times 10 to the power of negative 3. The normal stress for this problem is 3.26 megapascal. The value is in positive, thus it is in tension. For this problem, the shear stress is contributed by transverse shear stress only. Then the formula for shear stress at point B is given by VQ at point B divided by IT. The value of V is 1465.75 and the value of Q at point B is 0 0.42 times 10 to the power of negative 3 and the value of I is 0 
times 10 to the power of negative 3 and t is the thickness which is 0 0.02 meter. All the values are substituted into the shear stress formula and the shear stress for this problem is 0 0.209 megapascal. For question 8-54, the 1 inch diameter road is subjected to the load shown. Determine the state of stress at point B and show the result on a differential element located at this point. At Z exists, we use summation Fz equal to 0. So we assume Rz as a positive direction. So Rz plus 100 equal to 0. Rz equal to minus 100 pound. At X exists, we use summation Fx equal to 0. We assume Rx is at positive direction. So Rx minus 75 equal to 0. So Rx equal to 75 pound. Next, at Y exists, we use summation Fy equal to 0. We assume Ry direction as a positive. So Ry minus 80 as equal to 0. Ry equal to 80 pound. At Z exists, the total moment equal to 0. Mz plus 80 times E, which is its length, equal to 0. And we can get Mz equal to negative 640 pound per inch. At Y exists, the summation was X equal to 0. My plus 100 times X length, E, and minus 75 times 3, equal to 0. And the submission was my equal to negative 575 pound per inch. And x is this submission mx equal to 0. In this case, we get torque. We, we conclude that torque is tx. tx plus 80 times 3 equal to 0. And we get tx equal to negative 200 pound per inch. After that, we find the area of the road. We used the formula which is pi over 4 d squared. We can find pi over 2 times 1 square equal to pi over 4 inch square. After you find the area of the road, we need to find the polar moment of the road. We use the equation which is pi over 2 c to the power of 4. After that, we, f we can find which is pi over 2 times 0 0.5 to the power of 4. And we f the answer which is 0 0.03125 inch power of 4. After that, moment at y and moment at x is equal. So we use the equation is pi over 4 r4. Pi over 4, 0 0.5 to the power of 4 and the answer is is 0 0.015625 pi inch power of 4. After that, we find Q. In equation, we know that Q is equal to y prime equal to a and times a prime. The y prime, we use the equation 4 r over 3 pi. And the r, the radius was 0 0.5 and the area was pi d square over 4 and we get the q was 0 0.0833 inch square the total normal stress was no p over a plus mxy over ix plus myz over iy and the total for normal stress was 5.76 kilo inch and we get in compression because it negative sign. After that, we find a shear stress using the equation VQ over IT and TC over J. We minus both of them to, f to find the total shear stress and we get 1.3 kilo inch. For the bonus question, we try to solve question 8-31. Determine the smallest distance d to the edge of the plate at which the force p can be applied so that it produces no compressive stresses in the plate at section A-A. 
The plate has a thickness of 20 mm and P acts along the center line of this thickness. By drawing the free body diagram and considering the equilibrium, we know that the summation of Fx is equal to 0, thus N is equal to P. Total moment at the center is equal to 0. An equation is obtained M equals to P in bracket 0 0.1 minus D. After that, we need to find the area and moment of inertia of the plate. Next, the normal stress developed is the combination of agile and bending stress. Thus, normal stress is equal to N over A plus minus MY over I. Since no compressive stress is desired, the normal stress at the top edge fiber must be equal to zero. Thus, Substitute all values in the equation and we will get the smallest distance, d, is equal to 66.7 millimeters.